The area known as Lowry Vista served as an Air Force landfill between 1948 and 1986. Got Lowry? Yes. Would you like to speak? In 2010, Denver City Council gave the developer, International Risk Group, permission to redevelop the land, but... IRG ignored the question of getting Air Force approval. Christine O'Connor is head of Lowry United Neighborhoods, a group which has long opposed putting houses and shops on top of the landfill. They worked on all these other entitlements, but they forgot to ask whether the feds, whether the Air Force would even go along with it. A letter from Colorado's Attorney General says the Health Department can't consider development unless IRG gets the Air Force to agree it'll remain liable for underground contamination and tear up the original deed which states Lowry Vista can only be used for open space. I think the Attorney General is right on. O'Connor and IRG representatives were at a clean water hearing today. A certain bucket of Air Force obligations. Are we caught up with IRG owner Brett Anderson. How will the ruling from the Attorney General back in November, how will it affect the project going forward, Lowry Vista? The answer is no comment. Well, Brett Anderson, the owner of IRG, refused to go on camera today, but many representatives from the Lowry neighborhood had plenty to say about the Lowry Vista project. They have been told, stop, you don't put a shovel into that landfill unless the U.S. government, the Air Force, signs off. And that's permission O'Connor hopes IRG never gets. At Lowry, Jim Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.